Well, the proposed Finn Academy in Elmira recently submitted its paperwork or its letter on intent. If accepted by the SUNY Board of Education, the Academy will submit its final proposal March the 12th. Now, I have been following this journey of the Finn Academy since last March. It sparked my interest when I heard one parent say how a charter school in Elmira was greatly needed after her daughter attended one before they moved to the city. Well, tonight I asked the question why Elmira might need a charter school and what it might look like. Her demeanor, her motivation, everything just started soaring. And to this day, she's still an honor roll student here in Elmira. I don't think I know is a strong thing to have in this community. The proposed Finn Academy is an idea slowly coming to fruition. I'm very pleased that they that our little idea is resonating with them and that they're beginning to see us as a collaborator, another hand at the table to help educate students. And with pushback from the Elmira School Board, it won't be an easy journey for them to open. Last July, the Elmira Board unanimously voted to oppose the Academy, writing, quote, The Board of Education feels that the Finn Academy's proposal falls short of the requirements for the issuance of a charter. What WNY wanted to find out is in what ways can a charter school in Elmira help kids excel even more within our community? Genesee Community Charter School. That's where I am up in Rochester. These lovely kids are going to give me a tour of their school, tell me why it's so special, and maybe why we should start one right up in Elmira. The tour began with the kids giving us their names and explanation of the way Genesee Charter School is run, letting us know the reason they were doing the tour themselves was to teach them public speaking skills. We want the visitors to hear from the perspective of kids who actually experience what's going on in the school. The Genesee Charter School is an expeditionary learning school, a model that Finn Academy board members don't plan to completely incorporate into their own school, but is one method they plan to mirror as they tour charters around New York State, all to see what teaching methods are working the best for students. It was exciting to see kids really engaged in an authentic purpose for learning and um, being very self-directed. They're working with an archaeologist to look at artifacts, and they're also working with experts from Ganondagan to learn about Seneca culture, daily lives, and stories from long ago and today. As I learned more on how charter schools rank as some of the best schools in New York, I asked myself what was the rankings of not only the Elmira City School District, but some of the other school districts in our viewing area. I started reading Business First 2013 academic rankings of 429 school districts across upstate New York. The database is done by academic rank based on statistics and figures from the New York State Education Department. And what I found that was that out of 429 schools, Ithaca ranked 60, Bath 159, Watkins Glen 292, Corning Painted Post 283, Spencer Van Atten 326, Elmira Heights a 347, but Elmira, it ranked 418 out of 429 school districts. The only, the only requirement is that we meet the Common Core and that our students demonstrate accountability in the Common Core through state testing. So how we get that done is up to us. They really uh, provide a strong opportunity for kids to do uh, more, uh, both in terms of the length of the school day, but also in terms of the rigor of the curriculum. The baseline academics of the Genesee Charter School involve and incorporate the idea of community, learning more about our city and its history with the idea that if you can understand that, you can improve and add on to it in the future. Instead of just reading things in textbooks and about different cities, we get to actually go there and experience what's going on. Because you get a lot of cool experiences that will help you later in life. While I was there, a student teacher from Genesee came up to me and told me she was from Elmira. She's a student at St. John Fisher College in Rochester and had this to say about the idea of a possible charter school being opened up in her hometown. I could see how students in Elmira would find a deeper appreciation for where they live if they were able to give them, and give them the time to um, really explore that K through 6. Finn Academy wants to focus on finding an innovative way to implement the common core standards that are being taught across the nation in a way that is not confusing for the student, the teacher, or the parent. And they, just the smiles on their faces that they seem to really love learning. The public and charter school institutions are ideally about working hand in hand for the total improvement of an educational system. Can Elmira figure out how to do that before August 2015 when the academy may open? Well, that's the next question WENY will be asking.